Hi everyone, my name is Cindy and today we are having the napkin exchange challenge with the host sunflowers and DIYing and handicrafting with Mimi. These are amazing women who can craft just about anything with napkins. So make sure you subscribe, like, save, and comment. And their channels is listed below. And make sure you follow all of the other Suburb crafters that are in this playlist. And be sure to subscribe, like, save, and comment on their channels also. And the playlist is listed in the description box below. So let's get to crafting and see what everyone has made. I don't know about you, but we've been having great weather. The sun is peeking through the clouds every day. So here are some sunglasses to protect your eyes. The supplies needed include sunglasses, and these are from Dollar Tree, some Mod Podge, some floral napkins, some pearls, and scissors, and of course a paintbrush. You want to separate the two ply napkins and cut out some leaves and tiny flowers. Then you apply the Mod Podge to both sides of the glasses and then place the cut out leaves and tiny flowers. You want to adhere them to both sides of the frames and one in the middle. Then you can cut a strip of flowers and leaves and apply those to the temple of the frames using Mod Podge. Now, the temple of the frames are what we call the arms. And then lastly, you're going to place the pearls on the flowers and you have a one of a kind sunglasses. People will stop you and ask, where did you get those sunglasses? Next is the propagation station. The supplies needed include a harvest frame that is deep on the opposite side, a napkin, two magnets, plastic container, and it can be a small one because it has to fit inside the frame, a metal piece, Mod Podge, ribbon, leather, and organza, one tumbling tower block, some plant cuttings, and paper flowers. So you want to remove the harvest sign and clean the area to get off the sticky paper. Then what I did is I measured the inside of the frame and I cut out the part of the napkin and removed the one ply. Then I used Mod Podge in the center and just carefully laid the napkin to cover the tin. Now, I thought it was tin, but the magnets don't work. So I'll tell you what I did a little bit later. So I use part of the napkin so the flowers and leaves are pointing downwards. And then I found a circle that magnets could adhere to and covered that part with flowers and leaves. And then I hot glued that to the inside of the frame. And then I placed a magnet that I covered with the napkin on the actual uh, metal that the magnet would adhere to. And then I applied some faux leather ribbon around the small jar and hot glued the magnet to the jar and it adhered to the other magnetized part. So to make it stand up, you I took one tumbling tower block and hot glued it to the back side of the frame for some stability. And then I added some ribbon and a paper flower at the top. Next, I poured some water into the jar and a cutting from one of my sprawling plant graced the station and it turned out nicely. It kind of I let you know that spring is on the way. Then I 
did a spring is in the air sign. The supplies needed include a sign, the Mod Podge, two tiny glass jars, and these were at Dollar Tree, paper flowers, white chalk paint, pearls, a napkin, small full flowers, and some hot glue. Now, the sign was originally black and white checked paper that was covering the stand. I removed all of the paper and cleaned it, and then I painted it with white chalk paint. And once it was dry, I took the napkins with the words, spring is in the air, and cut it to size. I used Mod Podge to cover the sign and applied the napkin. I replaced the piece of wood that was at the bottom and hot glued two glass bottles on the top. Now the bottles can be used to house real or full greenery or flowers. So what I did, I had some small pink flowers around the home and I placed them into the small glass jars. I have one bottle on the left and one on the right, and that is so that you can see the sign that talks about spring. I think it turned out really cute, and I put it on a tray in my guest room. What a welcoming sign. My last DIY is a Easter container. The supplies needed include a galvanized bucket, Mod Podge, wooden bird, just a little small wooden bird, some small tiny wooden eggs, and flower and butterfly. And these are all from the Dollar Tree. I used the organza ribbon and just plain very tiny, probably an eighth of an inch ribbon and I had some shredded paper from the fall and because of the buffalo check napkin that I'm using, the orange shredded paper looked really good. Some skewer sticks and a paper sticker. Now the galvanized bucket was painted white and then I heard Mod Podge to it one side at a time. and then I applied the napkin around the top and the bottom. Then I put a paper flower with stems on the front of the can. And once that was done, then I added my shredded orange paper to bring out the color in the napkin. Then I hot glued a butterfly on a skewer and I had to break it off so that they would be at different heights and then I found a tiny flower and a bird and I put those all on skewers and stuck them in the can. Now you can paint them but I decided to leave them raw wood. Dollar Tree had some wooden eggs and I put those around the stem. So two different ribbons was tied around the handle and you can hang it just about anywhere in your home to usher spring into to your home. Be sure to subscribe, like, save, and comment. I read all of your comments and they are all so very kind. Normally I craft more modern type things, so this is like putting pushing me out of my element. So remember, love is like the wind. You can't see it, but you certainly can feel it. This is by Nicholas Sparks. So I'll see you later. You take care and have a great rest of the week. Bye-bye.